school here at Fullerton College. Yeah. And uh, I had some incredible instructors that just, you know, had uh, just pff, opened up doors and, you know, pathways of, uh, you know, creativity and allowing me to be who I was rather than um, trying to uh, um, put me into the conformity of the classroom, which was just bewildering. You know, I, I had my first day of college, I walked in and the teacher just hadn't, you know, just let me go. Somehow, my senior year in high school, uh, battling between uh, two different decisions, whether to be an artist or a, a student athlete, um, and I uh, ended up you know, choosing to be an artist at that time, my senior year. You know, all the life activities that that lead to that can't lead to that canvas. You know the you know the getting up, uh, the, the going for a walk, the looking at the sky, seeing the stars. What kind of sun it was that was you know rising? What were there clouds in the sky? How did you know what was last night's you know residue from? my positive experiences and my negative experiences and am I okay with that and then through all of this this gamut of, uh, of, of living right this this experiencing of life that's where I grab the moment to to become an artist and, 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 and make something one day reading about Rembrandt and studying Rembrandt I had the just the relationship the relationship became so clear all of a sudden Rembrandt's sufferings were my sufferings I saw them in me, but I saw me first, like, you know, uh, I started to uh, not listen to what they were saying. I wasn't worried about layers, I wasn't worried about glazes, I wasn't worried about choosing the right pigments, I wasn't, I wasn't worried, I didn't, I didn't concern myself with any of the um, disciplines of what's going on in all the art institutes today basically. So it, everything that's been taught, and I just dropped out of school, dropped out of everything, left my agent, just phew, cut everything. All ties were just diminished. I just left everything, chopped it all, cut it all off, no more. And it was then that within a, uh, a series of five to ten paintings that uh, the style came out. And um, that that moment of the tight line to the, to the bright, to the tight line again. 1989 was when I graduated, when I started to, you know, paint and decided to be an artist. A few years later, like uh, 1991, I, uh, I was doing um, uh, framing at the art store in Irvine, and I was framing this gentleman who uh, was acquiring young artists at the time, and he was uh, representing them. And I just, you know, happened to mention that I was an artist, and I, uh, I showed him that I was, you know, interested in painting. Anyway, he became my agent, and I started getting this uh, this allowance, monthly allowance, and I uh, moved into this space right here, adjacent to this one. And uh, this is where I was creating, you know, in the very beginning. Don't kill me now, all right? I was like, go stay in school, get your degree out of school. <laughs> Honestly, no, because it, because uh, in the in the end, I'm still the starving artist, right? I'm still a struggling starving artist, with even with my my uh, you know my security. And, in what I'm doing, um, uh, I uh, I think that having the opportunity, uh, you know, to be able to get into a, a, a teaching role, I would like to see all the young artists pursue that kind of uh, good life. You know, where you have a good balance, where you you finish school, you and at the same time you understand that the streets there and the galleries are there and there's places to show and there's places to welcome you you know and uh, you know <laughs> and 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 that and in the end when you do complete that you know that task and if you've been real and you've been honest and you became the artist and you're going to you're going to find where you need to be you know i believe you know and that's the, that's the best thing for an artist especially an artist